Today I wanted to show you guys this treasure trove of trails that I have, I, I kind of knew existed, but not to the extent. We are going to be taking a trip to Wilson's Creek. I, it took me so long to get to Wilson's because I always heard that um, they're just rough trails. and. I think that is such a terrible way to describe what Wilson's is because in my head I'm thinking, oh, so they're just, they're not kept up. It's just you riding on a goat path and um, it's an adventure, which I'm all for an adventure, but I didn't expect there to be amazing trail there. So I don't want to say they're rough. They are, but it's, it's different, man. We're just going to have to, we're going to have to jump into it. So Wilson's Creek is nestled in the town of Mortimer, North Carolina. Honestly, guys, if you have any information on the town of Mortimer, let me know, comment down below, because I, I really want to learn more about this place. But the quick and dirty is that it used to be some sort of mining town that is essentially now a ghost town. The only thing that is up here are the mountains and, and the allure of them. I did learn a great flood happened around 1916-ish, and that was pretty interesting. The, um, I mean, the flood was so bad that they even had standing water at the Biltmore House. Now, pretty much the only thing left is, you know, like I said, the allure of the mountains. One of the last unpaved highways in North Carolina, which is pretty cool. And of course, uh, Betsy's. So one of the biggest allures of Wilson's Creek is it is true, true mountain biking. So there's no signs. There's nothing telling you mountain bike trails this way. You wouldn't even know there were mountain bike trails there if you just went up there and started looking around. You, you'd essentially just have to get lucky and stumble upon them. So you might start asking, well, how do I actually know where to go? How do I ride up there? Basically, you either have to have a guide or do a lot of trial and error. And thankfully, we have the Wilson's wizard himself to show us around. And on top of having somebody show you around, I just, I absolutely adore the aspect of having to plan my route a week before. You can go up there and ride for like an hour and a half, but I, I love picking the trails that I want to hit and mapping out like a four or five hour day. I can't begin to tell you how many trails are up there. It's miles and miles and miles and miles. So you're going to climb and you're going to climb and you're going to climb. There's no shuttling to the top of most of this stuff. And then you're going to have to hike a bike some of it. I mean, if there's one thing held constant at Wilson's, most trails are not complete unless you have to get off at least once. But once you reach the top of some of these mountains, it's just you bombing down the hill on these amazingly fun trails that make you feel like a kid again because you're just out of control half the time. It's a controlled slide. And that, my friends, is what made me fall in love with this place. You were either going straight up or straight back down and you got to have some fitness to get around out there. My weapon of choice for this adventure is the only mountain bike that I have. It is my Orbea Oys that has 100 mil of travel. And by the end of this ride, I could see the huge appeal of a trail bike with more travel. And all of it really can be done on an XC bike, but geez, if it wouldn't be more fun on something a little beefier. This was my first ever ride at Wilson, so please take that into account. I, I'm not, I, I race cross country. People tell me that I've got really good handling skills in the cross country scene, but I'm not skills with fit. I'm not insane. So it was for rigid when we arrived, but you do not stay cold long when the trail points upwards. And the first trail that we hit, they call it Lower Wilson's. Right her back. And you start climbing and you climb and you climb up the mountain and you climb some more. You get off your bike at a couple spots. You get back on your bike and you climb some more. And then when you reach the top of this trail, we regrouped and it's more or less a gravel road at this point. Woo! -hoo -hoo! And it just went for my joints, it's all it did. I didn't Woo! know what was going on and I wasn't gonna be able to sleep. If it was <laughs> yeah. The time between freezing and sweating was probably <laughs> I record, told you. record breaking. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty quick. That was yeah. quick. That's what there he that's is, why the I mountain can... goat. Yeah. So the first trail that we came upon was called Reed's Creek, or I've also heard it called Loose Mountain. I think that's actually the proper name for, for the mountaintop that we are on. That basically, you climb up this gravel road, you've been climbing for quite a while now, you get to the top, everybody regroups right before the trail starts, and the trailhead is literally two trees that you just happen to know that is there. I, again, video does not give 
any kind of steepness justice whatsoever. But this is essentially a roller coaster style roll in. And the entire time you are riding this trail, you feel like you were just in this hall butt that. controlled slide. And it is <laughs> so much you gonna fun. You're going to drop it like a top, Brad? I'm the drop. Drop it like a top. Oh. 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 Also guys, I've never really noticed how many noises I make when I'm having fun on the bike. It's it's a little embarrassing. My brakes didn't like it. No. <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> That's almost as fun as ridge line there, buddy. Yeah. Right? That's and I fun. like it. That it's more, uh, so yeah. Fun. yeah. That was good. But the drop in, I rolled up, I said, what? I said, <laughs> yeah, it starts steep. The next trail that we uh, got to peruse was called Anderson Mountain, I think, or, or Anders Mountain, Anderson Mountain, I think it was. Basically, they told me this is going to be more climbing, who would have thought, and a, a good quality hike-a-bike section. So most of the time when they go up there, I think everyone tries to see how far they can get up the mountain without hike-a-bike. <laughs> The only reason for me to do this trail again is the view. Hike a bike is worth the view once you get to the top. It is beautiful. Okay. That was fun. Woo! Yeah. We can make it out of this park. Oh, we already have a chimney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, we know all your secrets yeah, now. Yeah. You better turn that down. It's a lot clearer. What did Kyle say that was? Is that the off-road parts that yeah. we passed? Is that what all that is? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, wait, down at the bottom. You know, yeah, down. But the actual trail going down it, Keith says it's one of his favorites because there's l so many lines you can take. It's like five it's different lines once. down the face of this mountain. To me, I, I think it was because the leaves were down. I saw no line and I was just dodging trees. It's not a bad trail. I don't want to put that in anybody's head, but I would, I would not say I had a blast going down Anderson, sorry. <laughs> God, this ain't a trail. Fudge. 
I'm gonna be honest, this one's not as fun as the first one. <laughs> Bike okay? Oh. <laughs> Golly. You might do that. Uh, endo. <laughs> Two times. Two times. The only thing worse than that doing once is doing it twice. It was snarly coming out through there because she's like, you can take multiple lines through here. And I was like, I'll just follow you because I know I'll be safe if I follow you. <laughs> Now after Anderson, there's a little bit more climbing. And then one of the most well-known and fun trails there is called Lower Wilson's. Lower Wilson's is not as steep as any of the other stuff that we had out here. I let uh, Kyle go in front of me because I wanted to follow his lines because he is uh, the master out here. Following his lines made it so much fun. Lower Wilson's is, is just a good flowy trail. This trail was fun. We'll let the Jedi master go. I'm just the Padawan. Woo! I can't stay that tight. Now, once we did Lower Wilson's, it's uh, probably like a 40 minute ride to Sinkhole. Sinkhole is a very well-known trail, basically because there's a giant sinkhole on it. That's where it got its name from. But it, it is definitely the most uh, adventurous trail out of the four that we hit on this day. So basically you descend on the spine of the mountaintop that we were riding, which is pretty fun. And then once you hit a certain spot, you kind of hook a right. And then the coolest part out of this entire trail is the bench cutting. 
Whoever did the bench cut stuff, I mean, more power to you guys, because that is a lot of bench cut. If you don't know what a bench cut is, basically because the terrain is so steep, if you were just to ride straight through it, you would slide down the side of the mountain. You essentially cut a bench into the side of the trail. There's a lot of this out at Whitewater Center, for instance. It, the trail is phenomenal. I, I do recommend if you want a good taste of Wilson's uh, as well, like the potential that you could find out there. Sinkhole is a good one. It's a very well-known, well-ridden trail. Slow guys, getting a head start. This is the fast part for you. Nah, we're still going up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Pump it louder! Just pump it harder! Well, you two, you guys already know it. Uh, sure. Just because I know it doesn't mean yeah. it. Just let me know where to get off and walk. <laughs> you know it better than me. I'll put it that way. Okay, that makes me feel better. I thought that was the... God! Oh, come on, Tucker! I'm a failure! Give me those <laughs> But I think if you have any speed, you're oh, at least going to crash into the other side. <laughs> That's the video I want to see is the dude that like sandbags the bike. Got one, two, three. I know, I'm like holding it with... Yeah, don't drop yeah. your phone. I'll hold your back. <laughs> I don't want to drop it. Well, well, you might have a quarterback with a swan dive. Yeah, boy. That one wasn't near as bad as that first section. Yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> Where are you going to slide your hands off the box? <laughs> so in reality, Sinkhole is filled with a lot of stuff that can look intimidating, but none of it's actually that difficult. This particular section of trail, I know the video doesn't do it justice, but was steep as crap. Very, very steep. Um, nothing super bad on it. So my GoPro was wigging out and I let everyone go in front of me. But whenever you roll up on like four people just standing there looking at something, it makes you second guess yourself. But don't worry, this section's not that hard. It's just steep as crap. Go for it. I think right's, right's a lot easier. That's what I'm afraid of. I'd rather start at the top. Yeah. Oh god, I'm still in a huge gear. Oh. 
Holy sh Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna back up and roll it this time. <laughs> I just saw you stop. I was like, holy sh And there you have it guys, I just really wanted to show this drill because once I rode it and I saw the allure of Wilson's, I got super, super excited. This trail is phenomenal. Again, it's, it's not a park. You can't just go and expect to find trail without doing a little bit of planning or having a guide. But uh, please, if, if you've ever wanted to have a trip somewhere, in my opinion, out of everywhere I've ridden since I've started mountain biking, Wilson's that was the most fun trail I've been on. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see everyone in the next one. We are in the process of moving. Uh, I know you guys are tired of hearing that, but I, I do like to just let you know. So um, if, if I fall off the face of the earth for a week or two, that, that could be why, because I'm, I'm lifting heavy objects and I've got noodle arms. But that, that's all I got for you today. See everyone later. Bye-bye.